For some time now, we've seen the destruction of the legendary birds. Lugia stands above them all. We'll stop at nothing to catch it. Sometimes, through drastic measures, or adventures across the city, you'll find an astounding view that is breathtaking. And players in the cloud and in person will have your back. Unlike the other legendary birds, the strategy is more difficult and requires an analysis from Poketuan. The tricky part is that the circle will move up or down depending on Lugia's position. Two balls left. The eighth episode on how to catch Lugia begins now. All right, trainers. So we only have a few days left until legendary birds are completely gone. August 31st will be the last day to catch any bird you still need in your Pokedex. Some people are probably saying, why are you making this video now? It doesn't make any sense. Well, I figured many people would be rushing to find a solution on catching Lugia or trying to catch one with a really high IV. So far, I've caught 37 out of 55 which is a 67% catch rate. Let's take a closer look at Lugia's moves. As you can see, Lugia moves up and down the screen like the other legendary birds. Its circle is much bigger than the others, which makes it much easier to reach. But don't let that giant circle fool you. A wide, far throw is the best way to reach that big circle. As the circle gets smaller, you'll have to throw the ball a little differently. So, try releasing the ball when your finger is near the center of the screen. Uh, most of you probably know this, but Lugia is a basic legendary Pokemon, so it doesn't move as much as first and second stages. So, you don't have to wait for the attack animation. Although, I strongly, and I mean it, I strongly suggest waiting, especially if you're not in a rush to get anywhere. Lugia's attack is a backflip which takes a lot of practice and attention to detail. Let's slow down the video so you can get a much closer look at this attack. Notice how the circle disappears as the flip begins, then reappears when Lugia is completing the flip. You want to throw the ball right as Lugia's head tilts up near the end of the flip. So, you know the rule about 80 to 90% through the attack. Here's another example for you, right as the attack ends. And a third time, just so it can marinate in your brain. The tricky part is that the circle will move up or down depending on Lugia's position. Allow me to demonstrate once again. As you can see, I missed the circle because of this movement, but still managed to hit Lugia and which will happen on occasion and it looks like look oh, he's he's in the pokedex nice i got him i couldn't find any other pokemon that had similar moves um but i did manage to find an ursaring <laughs> i guess the only thing comparable between these two would be the size of the circle i'm glad this bear does not have wings that'd be a little crazy y'all well that's all the knowledge I can provide on catching Lugia. I hope you all were able to capture a bunch of the special birds. I'd like to thank you all so much for tuning in to this episode. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Stay tuned for more videos, and of course, have a great day.